this is the day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. To God be the glory for all the good things he's done in our lives. Hallelujah, praise the Lord. Love you. That way you say going to try to log in again. Okay. Yeah, so what I'm going to share, I wanted to talk to you about was the, like I said, stand from the beginning, right? Because mm -hmm. it, it's going to key into where I want to talk to the scripture about. Uh, but I wanted to, to to show something that uh, what the guy was referencing, and it was uh, the guy named Sarara. And let me see if I can bring this up. It was a he was uh, writing the conquest that King Prince Henry the first was doing. Uh huh. You you can see it on your screen now. Let me see if I can bring okay. it up more. Yeah, I see it. But look at the, just read that. Uh, look at that. Can you read that a little bit? Yes. Let's see here. Just here. Basically, he's talking about which speaketh of the island of Gomera, the fighting of the men. Of the island of Gomera is done with small rods like arrows, sharp and burnt in the fire. They go about naked without any clothes and have little shame for it at it. For they make a mockery of clothes, saying that they are but sacks in which men put themselves. They have only one small amount of barley in the flesh of pigs and goats, but little of all this. Their food is chiefly milk and herbs like the beasts, and the roots of rushes and rarely meat. They eat dirty and foul things such as rats, fleas, lice, and ticks, and consider them all as good viands. They possess no houses, but live in holes and huts. Their women are almost common, and when anyone cometh where another is, at once the latter giveth him his woman by the way of hospitality, and him that doeth other, you gotta move it up. Yeah, I moved it for a second, yeah. Let me... I couldn't, could, couldn't get to see the cursor. <laughs> Let's see. Let me see. You saw the you was at right here by the food chief. Milk. Yeah, I was down here. Their women are almost common. And okay, when let anyone me bring it up. Let me bring it up right. a little bit. There you right go. Right there, dude. Their women are almost common and when anyone cometh where another is, at once the latter giveth him his woman by the way of hospitality, and him that doeth otherwise they hold as a bad man. Wherefore the sons do not inherit among them, but only their nephews, sons of their sisters. The greater part of their time they spend in dancing and singing, for their whole luxury consisted in sport without work. Mm. They place all their happiness in the commerce of the sexes, for they have no teaching of a law, but only believe that there is a God. There will be 700 fighting men who have a duke and certain headmen. Yeah, and that's that was that's him describing the uh, the conquest they did going into Africa, right? Uh -huh. and, mm -hmm. and let me see, the next one they did was uh, this one right here. I guess that was the beginning of it. When the beginning of it is right here. Mm -hmm. This is a this this is an island of uh, Inferno or Tenerife. Mm -hmm. You see it? Yes. Mesimeth, I find a betterment of life among those inhabitants of the island of Inferno, for they are well supplied with wheat and barley and vegetables with many... Here you go, I'm bringing it down. Oops. Okay. I went too far. They with many pigs and sheep and goats, and they go clothed in skins, but they possess not houses, but only huts and dens in which they spend their lives. Also, they draw in their crabby parts as horses do, who only extend them when they have to generate issue or to make water. And they hold it to be as evil to act otherwise as we do in the case of those who go about without small clothes. 
Their fighting is done with, their, with staves made of the inner wood of pine, fashioned like great javelins, very sharp, burnt in the fire and dry. And they number from eight to nine bands, each with a king, whom they must always take with them, although death come to him, until the other who succeeded to the lordship after him happeneth to die. So you gotta move it up a little bit. Here. So they always have with them one dead and the other alive. Interesting. And so when the other dieth and there are two dead, and they have to abandon one according to their bestial ordinance, or more rightly, I will say, custom, they bear him to a pit in which they throw him, and he who carrieth him on his neck exclaimeth as he throws him, may he go to salvation. And these men are strong and daring, and have wives of their own, and they live more like men than some of the others. They fight one with the other, and in, in this, all their principle are care consistent, and they believe that there is a God. Yeah, now, I'm going to start right there. What, what I was showing was the, the uh, their description of going into the conquest of Af West Coast of Africa, mm -hmm. right? And they, they were describing these uh, Africans living in huts and holes and stuff, right? Right. And 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 it was why, so that was the first known publication dealing with uh, racism to justify uh, taking these people, you know? Mm -hmm. Because the, there's a couple more in there. They actually show where they let me see if I can find it. They, they showed how they. Uh, captured one of them, some of them. They, they're just right down the, uh, right, you know, had a big old warship at that time, mm -hmm. going down the, going down the river. And then they'll come across like a little small fishing village. <laughs> and they will jump out and grab them. Mm -hmm. You know, let me see if I found one. Um, but at the same time, this whole book was talking about how they, they they were describing the Africans. You saw you saw they're talking about like wearing little clothes and everything, right? Yes. So so and they published it widely all over the place. And it made it seem to me, and maybe to you, that Africa didn't really have a civilization. Mm -hmm. Right? Well right. the reason the reason I was showing you were you aware, you aware that Africa had civilizations that time, right? Oh, yes. Uh, you heard of the Moors. Yes. Right. So this was the, this where I was showing this, was the, the Moors who had conquered almost, almost all of, of uh, Europe. Okay? Mm -hmm. These people word and at modern time is the, the guy that was writing that article about Africans living in huts and stuff. Yes. Well these these are the Africans that you're seeing on the screen. These are the Moors. Those are the ones that were fighting Europe at the time. Mm -hmm. Pushed all the way up to Spain and took over Spain and uh, they got as far as the French border. Wow. Uh, and and it was just a war, you know, between Europe and the Moors coming from Northern Africa, mm -hmm. right? And what, what I, the reason I was bringing this, these pictures up is to show you, look, they got clothes on, right? Mm -hmm. uh, they, 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 some of them dressed like kings. That's why I highlighted some of them. Yes. Uh, well, oh, one, one, one I saw, look, I think he had a knight on. Let me see. I can find them. I thought I saw one had a well. His his was with the uh, I guess armor, some type of armor they had on there. But that's what they were. There's there's weapons of warfare. Is what I'm trying to say. Uh -huh. As as uh, the European. Matter of fact, here's one where they show they cut a a European head off. Mm -hmm. See that. Yep. And let me see if I got. There's clothing, just like the Europeans had on. 
Uh, let me see if there's anything. I thought I saw one had a night clothes on, dressed like a knight. Yeah, here's one. See right there? Mm -hmm. There, there's a moor with a with armor on, just like mm -hmm. the Europeans had on. But what what the reason I'm saying that is that the pictures there was the books on the start of the racism was trying to show you that uh, you know the blacks in Africa were the ones living in huts and and, and you know other type of uh, living conditions. They, they were they, I, my fact even for me I'm telling you until I sat there and, and started looking at it. I had all the things I always heard were, you know, like the Tarzan, the people in the jungle, you know, the ladies not having no top on, and men either. And, and you, I'm telling you, I mean, just growing up, uh, right. I I picture them just living in the jungle. Right, right. They were dressed and acting just like the Indians were when they came into. You know when when they came and discover America. I, I think they like the Indian Indians were portrayed. They always yeah. portrayed the people to their advantage, as yeah. though they were they were less than human. They were uncivilized, so it was incumbent upon them to civil to civilize these people. They're actually doing them a favor. They introduced them to to the Lord Jesus Christ. When we look at the Bible, I think it's the, the gospel actually went down in the Africa before it came. It, it finished this trip in in Europe. Yeah. Because didn't Philip witness to the Ethiopian eunuch? Uh-huh. And we were talking about Ethiopia yesterday. We're talking about uh we're talking about Africa. Mm hmm So the and, Ethiopian and eunuch, that Ethiopia had a chariot? The Ethiopian eunuch was a statesman in Candace's court. Yeah. He had a very high position in their government. So yeah. when Philip witnessed to him. He took what well, he got converted. He became he baptized and went back into Ethiopia and probably spread it apart down there. So and he was reading. He was reading the material too, right? He, so he was not. Knew how to read Hebrew? Um, the people. If we, we look at it from a biblical perspective. The first great government in, in, that the Bible talk about were started by Nimrod. Yeah. And Nimrod was the son of Cush. In the, in the area that they developed was the was it the uh, uh, what we call it in the Fertile Babylon. Crescent area? It was in Africa, yeah. Yeah, Babylon. In the Middle East. So and don't forget the great nation that the children of Israel was uh, slaves for four hundred years. The, the first Egypt. it shows that the first, the Bible itself shows that the first great world leader was a black man. Yeah. And if you ever heard heard, heard our white brothers say that Nimrod, that Nimrod, they always yeah. speak with it. It's a denigrating term. But yeah. the, the scriptures don't indicate that Nimrod was a, was a it is, that he was a what it, that he was a rebel, but it does not indicate that he was he was ignorant. <laughs> he couldn't have been ignorant if he led the entire world and he was the builder of the Tower of Babel. Right. So when all the world traveled as one band and was under one leadership, they were under the leadership of a black man. <laughs> hey, 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 but and, but the main thing I wanted to point out was they were civilizations. Yeah, oh man, they were young. <laughs> While our European brothers were still living in caves, we had great civilization on the planet, hey. a well-developed civilization. The math and stuff came out of the, the darker skin that people with range we were the we still are i think to some extent we just had the leadership as far as culture as far as science as far as everything was concerned you know i say that from a i'm not trying to put anybody down that's just that's i think that's just the historical fact well i think in fact that back up right now when you think about africa you know bro jackson you don't you don't really think about those major cities mm -hmm. and stuff in africa you know, a lot of kids that we think about the poor portion of Africa where people are, you know, dying and struggling and living in little huts and stuff. I mean, even South Africa, you know, right. South Africa is a very modern city. 
Yeah. I'm, what I'm saying is that, I, at least me, the the image of Africa is normally skewed toward a negative view, opposed to, hey, how many types of culture and cities, and, you know, that there's, there's modern as the ones that's in other countries. Mm -hmm. uh, we don't we don't even think about them much. We don't, but, but they're there, you know. Uh, right. Same thing in the Middle East. There's plenty of modern cities and stuff in the Middle East. So, okay. so and the purpose I was bringing the, the, this up was when they started the the uh, the.